Letter dated 9th May 2014 from the Ministry of Justice to the Minister for Finance. Then Attorney General comes in. I am talking about letters that you authored and not letters that were received by your office. Because, okay, let's move on. Sir says, these letters are internal documents. So the document that would have come from my office are the Attorney General's uh, the Attorney General's office. The documents cite the two critical documents that came from my office, and I did not have to send them based on procedure with another letter from the legal department. It's a bit long, but let's try. Then then go let me comes back. For purposes of clarity, there is no document here that you prepared, which the legal department relied on in preparing Exhibit 8 for Honorable Atto Forsen. Is that not correct? The Honorable Minister says, in all probability, there would, be, there would be because some of the documents that were cited were from the period that I was Deputy Minister. For example, there is one here, dated 2011. Then the Attorney General comes back. Are you the one who prepared the legal opinion? You, are you the one who prepared the legal opinion you just cited? Then he says, I did not prepare it. The Attorney General says, please, point out from this list of documents relied on by the legal department, which letter you personally prepared or authored. Then the Honorable Minister says, I cannot. But it is important to note that at the time, at the time these documents were prepared for my office, there was no reason for me to have written a letter or to have authorized for a letter to be written. Attorney General says, I'm suggesting to you that your claim that there is a record for the approval you allege that you gave for the establishment of the letter of letters of credit is false. And, and that and and is false. And that is why there is no record you can point to. Let me read that again. Attorney General says that I'm suggesting to you, the Honorable Minister, that your claim that there is record for the approval you allege that you gave for the establishment of the letters of credit is false. And that is why there is no record you can point to. Then Dr. Bamba, who is lawyer for Setekwe, comes in and says, my lady, I have an objection on the grounds that the accused did not say that there were records on approval. Then the court speaks. The court says, the question is fair and the witness is capable of answering it. The objection is overruled. So, Godfrey Dami comes back. I am suggesting to you that your claim that there is record for the approval you allege that you gave for the establishment of the letters of credit is false. And that is why there is no record you can point to. The Honorable Setekbe says, I disagree because the documents before the court now constituted the input for the letter that was written to the GACG, the company, for the establishment of the LC. Okay, Godfrey Dami continues. Take a look at Exhibit AL. It is a memo from Debt Management Division of your ministry to the Director for Budget of the Ministry of Finance, and it is related to the establishment of letters of credit, which paid for the ambulances in question. Is that not correct? The Honorable Secretary said, yes, this is the memo for the establishment of the letters of credit. Then Godfrey Dami says, please read paragraph 3 of Exhibit AL, which is the same document they are both referring to. Then Secretary says, okay, so the witness reads the hearing of the court. Okay, we don't, we didn't, we didn't, I, don't, I don't know whether we captured that. So you will see, that's Godfrey Dami coming back on the letter he just read. So you will see from paragraph 3 of Exhibit AL that the Debt Management Division clearly indicated that they received instructions from the Deputy Minister, the Honorable Atto Forsen, for the establishment of the letters of credit in question. Is that not so? The Honorable Secretary says, it is correct. And it is important to emphasize that by the time this memo would have been written, the staff would have known of the outcome of the meeting that we held and, and the Honorable Deputy Minister would have been exercising routine delegated responsibility 
as the deputy in charge of budget. It can also be seen as it is, as it is practiced that when a delegated responsibility is exercised in this case, the director of budget, any senior official above the director of budget will be copied. So to make the two points, the deputy ministers in this case, the one in charge of budget and the chief director were copied. Okay, Gofredami comes back. Exhibit AL dated 11th August 2014 was written after Exhibit 8 for AI. Is that correct? Setepa says, yes, that is correct. Gofredami comes back. You see from Exhibit AL that no reference to any instruction at all by you for the establishment of the letters of credit in question. Is that correct? The Honorable Setepa says, the heading of the memo is a reference. Okay. Then the Attorney General says, they were paid for through the authorization made by the Ministry of Health. It should be conditional payment. I am saying, I am saying it, if you look at 4.2, the ambulances were paid for through the LC established pursuant to the authorization of the Ministry of Finance. He says, yes, they were, but based on conditions. Then Godfrey comes back. Is it your evidence that any ministry can authorize payments to be made out of the consolidated fund without the authorization of the Ministry of Finance? Setekwe says no, but the authorization by the Ministry of Finance was given under the form of an LC that came in the form of an LC that came from the supplier, supplier agreement by the sector ministry. And it is expected that the ministry being the competent ministry for the transaction in question will comply with the conditions for payment. Then Gofredami continues. Please look again at the same 4.2. It says that there ought to be the signing of a contract for every 50 ambulances before the letters of credit are established. Is that not correct? Let me read this again. Gofredami says, please look at the uh, same uh, paragraph 4.2. He says, it says, it says that there it says that there ought to be the signing of a contract for every 50 ambulances before the letters of credit are established. Is that not correct? He asks at Tepe. Then the court comes in. By court. The court. That's the judge speaking. It is noted, she says, that the witness, when asked questions, does not answer the questions put to him. Repeat the question for the witness to answer. So the judge said... This is what the judge said in this interrogum. He says that it is noted that the witness, when asked questions, does not answer the questions put to him. Repeat the question for the witness to answer.